So this is looking PIR when you run boys in your middle trapezius. Um, I'm just going to squeeze your bar strap up a little bit. Okay. So from there, just keep it nice and stable. You're just going to push back into my hands. Great. And then we're just going to hold that just like you've just done. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And then she relaxes, goes forward, squeeze back again. Now I wouldn't have my watch on by the way. Um, which I'm going to have to be very careful with now. So as she relaxes this time, I'm going to take her forward. Now, I've purposely skimmed past so my watch gets past her. Now push back again. Alright, yes. And then 10 seconds have passed, she'd relax. Starting to feel that stretch now? Yeah. Should try and push back again. A lot of hard work for me, right? My pecs are having to work really hard on that. And then she'd relax. Got a good stretch now? Yeah. Yeah, and that's to bring about a stretch on the lumboids yeah. and the middle yeah. fibers of trapezius. Right, so we're going to have a look at PIR of infraspinatus. So obviously infraspinatus sits on the scapula, on the, uh, underneath the spinous scapula, on the infraspinatus fossa, and is attaching to the back of the humerus, the little tubercle, on the middle facet part of it. Okay, so what we need to do is get the elbow out 90 degrees to, to the body, and then let the hand come down, because that would be subscapularis working to pull forward. Because we're doing PIR, I'm going to pin the elbow, put my hand on his top of his wrist there, on the top part of his hand. And what Sam is going to do is going to pull back for me. That's it. So he's made his infraspinatus contract now. Again, we're going to hold that for about 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds was up, he's going to relax and the arm will go a little bit further. And then I could repeat that again on this arm. And that. Okay. Ideal range of motion for this position it should be in is somewhere in that position. About if we took from horizontal there, it should be about 20-30 degrees. And that's a good range of motion. Alright. So this is post isometric relaxation of subscapularis. So as I've just kind of said, subscapularis sits underneath the scapula. And it's coming right through from underneath to the front of the shoulder, onto the humerus. Okay, so what I need to do is obviously work backwards. So what we do is let the elbow relax. Elbow comes down. Now to be fair, you can do it with gravity. This is a, um, what we do is a range of motion test as well. So she's got very good range in that subscapularis anyway. All right, but we'll, we'll, imagine we're doing this as a stretch. So what I do is I, I pin the elbow, hand over hand or hand over our wrist. And from there, I'd get Kaylee to push up against my hand. I see, so subscapularis is now engaged. I'd hold that for 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds is up, she'd relax, and I'd just take it back. I mean, that's a phenomenal range. <laughs> yeah, so we wouldn't obviously be doing a met stretch on Kaylee's subscapularis. But that's how we'd go about it.